affirmative. Now dance. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Be careful, young man. Oh, I can't agree more. Affirmative. Fine. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Be careful, young man. Great precision. Don't worry. Weightlessness only lasts a second. At your command. Everyone has their own direction. The star falls towards the sun as the apple drops to the ground. Hold on to that. Affirmative. Oh, I can't agree more. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. A brave decision. All right, deep breath in. I am able to Everyone. Give me a hand, friends. I can't do this alone. जाने दो हे भगवान रक्षा करना उस खमंडी मूर्ख की जो भाग निकला ओ और मेरे लिए सारा खजाना छोड़ गया संभल के चुपचाप ओ वो ठीक है वो गहराई में क्या कर रही है वो दोनों कौन है मुझे नहीं पता था कि यहाँ इतनी सारी चट्टाने हैं ठीक है चढ़ते रहो लगभग पहुंच गए
ये क्या है ऐसा लगता है कि ये वहां मौजूद बदसूरत मूर्तियों में से एक है अरे ये क्या हिल सकती है ये बिल्कुल वैसा ही है वैसा ही किताब की कहानी की तरह हाँ ये सही है वो खजाने की रखवाली करने वाले गोलेम वो सच है मैं जानती थी और वो अजगर जो महल को खाता है वो रतन जो समुन्दर को तोड़ता है खुल जा सिमसिम मैं शर्जा झूठ बोल रही है वो परी कथाएं नहीं है इसमें कोई आश्चर्य नहीं कि उसके दो सहायक हैं। वो खजाना खोजने वाले हैं। उन्होंने रक्षकों को हराया है ओ हा बस छुप कर उनका पीछा करो और मुझे कम से कम थोड़ा सा खजाना मिल जाएगा जो वो पीछे छोड़ गए हैं, जैसे कासिम ने तराजू से सिक्का निकाला था I think I understood every Hindi word, but none of them make any sense anymore when put together. You're saying Kumar. That Kumar I know, the sister whom I've only seen once in my life. is also my tutor in the university plus she's a bad guy associating with the manus so these abnormal growth curves the fluctuation of celestial energy is a man made result actually i'm not 100% sure about their association but yes Your conclusion about the growth curves is right. The fluctuation was caused by an unnamed celestial body, and its existence is only known to Kumar and me. It was the object of our research at Banna University. At that time, we found some arcanum-related materials very helpful for our project. But then she was way too radical. Arcanum is strictly prohibited in the field of human science, and we were expelled from the university. After that, our disagreement got even worse. In the end, we took different paths. But apparently, neither of us gave up on the research. we could frequently feel the existence of each other from the changes of the celestial body and one day i found an abnormality during the observation the energy never fluctuated in such a fierce and peculiar way i decided to contact her but when i finally found the lab she had worked in the staff told me she had already left
Our common friend told me she had seen Kumar by coincidence. She saw her leave with Amandis. And I found this from what she left behind. I compared it to the hole in the wall. It does come from this cave and it has something to do with the arcanum related materials on that celestial body. But Kumar never makes mistakes. This one is more like a clue she left to me. Hmm, I don't understand her. Judging from the situation, apparently I'm not the only one invited. Oh, this is getting even stranger than seeing those moving statues. Like I said, I am, well, to be more precise, I almost am the last living member of my family. This stamp was supposed to come from a special seal that belongs to the heir of the family. Unfortunately, it was passed down to me and I lost it to a bear many years ago. I checked the postmark on the envelope and found the letter came from this remote cave where even rock pigeons don't bother to pay a visit. Since it is highly unlikely that the bear with my seal in its belly would take transport all the way to a cave to send me a letter, I decided to come here myself and find out what this was all about. But there's one thing I found weird in what you said. As far as I know, my sister is even worse than unqualified. If taken as an arcanist, she's almost like a human. It's nearly impossible for her to use the most basic arcane skills. And this... This is not something a random person from our world can do. Is she really able to control these things? No, she can't. But she has a solution. A solution even I'm not aware of. Theoretically, our skills can only create illusions and nothing more. But if the man is really offered to help her, even though I don't want to think this way, she may be able to do that. Oh. I forgot the menace part. All right. All I know is, if this letter is really an invitation from her, I guess this won't be a delightful trip for me. <laughs> I've heard about that incident in her family, and I don't think her ultimate purpose is just to gather us here. Thank goodness I met you here, young lady. Can't believe I ran into a Foundation investigate. <laughs> don't, don't mind the title. Every member of the Foundation is obliged to contribute to the cause of peace, let alone an arcanist as extraordinary as I am. That's great. Ma Saraswati Kavardhan hai. Exactly. Uh, how fortunate the Foundation has been to have such an excellent subordinate like I am. I hereby apply for assistance to the Foundation as an astronomy professor and an arcanist. Uh, mm, mm? Yes, Miss Kalabauna? Rather than find Kumara and the Manis, we have something more important to do now. Something more important? 
We need the Foundation's assistance to evacuate the villagers and tourists in Morpunk Village as soon as possible, because that near-Earth astro... No, no, it's not an asteroid. That celestial body we study, not able to be observed by human technology, is approaching this village at a dangerous speed. It reaches level 5 on Torino scale and 0.01 on Palermo scale. What? In brief, the meteor shower that is occurring during Deepa Festival will become a disaster of meteoroids. I tried to ask organizations in the surrounding areas for help, but this village is out of Chandigarh's jurisdiction. Besides, the villagers refuse to accept help from any social organizations related to humans. The good news is, there are still days before the Deepa festival starts. We still have time to evacuate the people. Meanwhile, I will do whatever I can to find Kumar and stop her, no matter what her next step is. If the Foundation offers its assistance, I will provide any support when needed. So this... this is her real? Yes. In this case, what happened in the caves was probably nothing more than an experiment. I'm not sure why she's doing this, but I won't allow such an abuse of our hard work. It is our work after all. That's why I must stop the star from falling. Tatteri! Um... Did you guys hear anything? can find it. It's your secret base, right? A secret base in others' house without the owner's permission? Well, well, well. Uh, no, 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 Mr. Ja. I it's not time to judge me. Something huge just happened. Sorry, sweet Jalebi. Your tricks never worked on me. Thought a jar of steel broke into an old house? Let me check your pocket. I knew it! Whose wallet is this? Did you forget what I taught you? Y yes, I do all these. I'm sorry, Mr. Ja, but let me down! It's too late if we don't leave now. The village is going to destroy it. Uh, what are you babbling about this time? It's real, not lie. I even ran all the way back from the shrine like an idiot and leaped to took my borrow from Uncle Sarah there. Ah. Uh. You went to the shrine and ate the offerings again? Young miss? I'm really sorry, but you must believe me this time. Where are the others? Where they go? We must tell them now. They must stay train and leave this place today. <sighs> they went to the street for business. 
What on earth is happening? L listen to me! I'm, I'm catched by a stone hand in the shrine's cave. And, and I see the treasure hunters. I hear what they say. They say a big, big stone called Meteorite will fall and smash the village when Deepa festival starts. Honey, I told you, they are just fairy tales. No, it's true. Those statues actually move. But that's okay. I know the place well. Though Kumar has been coming here very often in the past years, it's a good place to start with. You are. in your hand. Is that my wallet? Thank you so much for your understanding, Mr. Sharma, and Miss Bhuvanish. Ah, please, madam. You have my admiration for voluntarily taking care of these kids. Besides, technically speaking, this room doesn't belong to me anymore. But to my sister Kumar, I wish I could leave the house to you for future use. You heard what the lady said. I don't even know if the house will survive the meteor. <laughs> this is the latest batch of Darjeeling tea. Some locals gave it to me when I went across their village. Ah, careful. It's hot. Shaja. You don't lose anything, my lady. Please forgive me, will you? Now pass me cookies. I need to fill my belly and get to work. My apologies, Miss Sharja. I know this is totally out of the blue. And the details are yet to be verified. But our valuable time is running out. The last thing we should do is keep on waiting. Um... Kalabona. My, I think I know this name. I've read the paper co-authored by you and, uh, Professor Himani. Huh? 
You've read my paper? Uh, yeah, I'm studying in a public university in Chandigarh. I get to learn a lot of new stuff there. I had a whim to study astronomy before, and I remember reading it in a periodical. Yes, I'm sure. It's the same name. This part, and this part. I've read them in your paper, but um, this one on the side? I don't know anything like it. It's okay. That one involves the knowledge of Arcanum. Anyway, this is good news. No, great news. So what are you doing in Morpunk? Oh, I take care of the kids here in my spare time. Most of them are humans, but there are Arcanists too. I see. So, what are you going to do now? I know the top priority is to evacuate the villages. But we don't have much time, since the Deepa festival will start in less than four days. Besides, things are complicated in this village. Most of them, including me, had moved to Chandigarh. And the rest of them... <sighs> I've heard about that on the way here. Most villagers are reluctant to leave no matter what I say. I tried by starting with those young arcanists, but shame it didn't work at all. The silver lining is, we have the helping hand of Ms. Bolanish. She will try to make contact with the Foundation as soon as possible. But we still need to evacuate every villager we can. We know almost nothing about Kumar's plan now. Not to mention her whereabouts or purpose. Relax. For now, we have two solutions to the problem. First, let's find my clever evil sister so that our astronomer friend can figure out a way to stop the meteor. Or, spread the word and tell everyone to take the earliest train and leave the impact area. It's hard to be optimistic given the situation, but at least there is something we can do to reduce the damage. But, if we continue to sit around waiting, the situation will only worsen. Come, let's think. Il est finalement utile SPF-1 portable contact device activated. Welcome. Arcane skill verification activated. Please make sure you are not equipped with any wands. Read out the random incantation displayed on the screen clearly. Make sure your tone remains stable. Verification success. Registered user Matilda Buanish. Access level D. 
No abnormal arcane skill fluctuation detected in the area so far. Level D, access only supports quick report. Hmm? Accès à ces fusions? La description dit. Oh. Donc seul un enquêteur peut demander un renfort via ce système. Alors, à quoi ça sert de le transporter partout Je pensais que ce serait utile pour les urgences. Non, cela signifie-t-il que je vais rater l'occasion d'étudier l'énergie céleste en plus de gâcher ma chance de capturer le Manus La réception est terrible ici Comment est-ce que je vais entrer en contact avec la Fondation Oh, that doesn't sound like any progress with her. And what I have here is only books. Books and books and books. Nothing else. Calf feeding and management. Is my sister really an astronomer? Was I mistaken about anything? Hey, Matilda, if you like... There should be the last two pieces of Clara J on the table. Remember to have them with tea, or it's going to hurt your throat and ruin your beautiful voice. Kanjira was ecstatic about those cookies. She even took three pieces with her when she left. I hope that kind human girl would get to the train station safely with those kids. Now, let's take a look at you. What are you doing? Is this the stone Kumar left to you? Vishnu? Brahma creates, Shiva exterminates, and Vishnu safeguards the balance of the world lying on the ocean of stars. According to the materials, well, maybe I should explain it with mythologies for non-researchers. They mentioned three idols, but Vishnu's is the only one left, so she must have taken the other two. Perhaps it's proof that Kumar abandoned the path of maintaining the balance in the first place. That mural there. She said the mythology on it has been passed down in her family. <sighs> That's true. I've recited that story at least 20 times. But the part on the mural, to be honest, it feels so out of place to me. It was more like foisted into those well-known myths. Like, um, a pair of ox horns on a horse's head. An unusual metaphor, but actually, it plays a significant part in connecting all the mythologies we know. These mythologies are the primary material of our research. We've been trying to prove human science with basic arcanum theory. In fact, there is a connection between them, and they can support each other. If arcanists and humans could get along, I suppose the world would have developed faster than it does now. It's not easy to explain it through, but in short, there is another universe in the shape of an egg affecting reality. We call it the Meditator's Realm. Just like our daily dreams, you can enter it once you fall asleep. But that's not how we do it. We connect part of our gnosis with the realm through a special kind of meditation. It's not as easy as it sounds. One needs to either master the meditation skills like we do, or use a special medium as an anchor.
some mythologies are the original translation of the realm, an existence that cannot be observed through the methods in this world can be located as long as it is included in mythology. That's how we located that star. Sadly, if we can't prove its existence with data recorded by human technology, our discovery is useless. I'm surprised. For all this time, she has never given up on studying the old Arcanum tale of our family. You can even say she's fanatic about it. It's just... Indeed, we can do a lot of supernatural things in the realm. If your mind is calm or your anger is strong enough, you can even do whatever you want. But it's limited inside there. Remember I said it's like our daily dreams? Just think of it as a controllable one. Everything in the realm is created based on reality. In other words, it's nothing but a mirror. And the images in a mirror can never affect reality. It's impossible to bring anything into the realm. Not to mention taking anything out. But the statues in the cave actually exist in this world. They are tangible. That means she's gone much further than I do. She mastered a method I'm not aware of. What bewilders me is her arcane skill. How did she do that if not for the Manus's help? Oh, come on. She also knows that cave a lot better than I do, right? We never hung out much. How long did she stay in the village on her last visit? A month maybe? Or two weeks? I'm not sure. I even crushed her glasses by accidentally sitting on them. Those are the same glasses you have on your belt. At that time, I thought she was a distant relative I don't know of. After all, it's rare to meet someone so clever and open-minded in this village. I even lent this room to her. This was my secret basement, you know. But only after we parted did my father tell me that she's my sister, the daughter they sent away for the lack of Arcanum talent. I do remember those days roughly. Back then, I couldn't find her in the institution. I was all alone for a long time. What happened to her has inevitably affected me. I grew more and more rebellious against the family rules. It's like a story full of cliches. Giving up the training, refusing to listen to my father, skipping all the practice I could possibly avoid. I didn't want to be the blockhead hedged by the so-called family heritage. Of course, at the end of the story, I paid my price for breaking away. I think for her, it is even harder to break free. I guess her plan is to invite me over to this dump full of bad memories and swoosh, boom, smash all the annoyances with a star. <laughs> hmm, that's a solemn ending. Pity the ones she hates are all gone now. But how come you're invited too? Did you upset her as well? Hmm. That's a good point. Hatred could be the most likely reason. Actually, we didn't get along well after we left the university. Ever since our identities as Arcanists were exposed, we couldn't stay in the institution anymore. And 
it's also the beginning of our disagreement. I always thought that, on the way to proving myself, ourselves, we were each other's only friend and best partner. How could I finish my study in campus full of humans without her? But then, my mind was changed. I wouldn't have connected Kumar with the man as Vindicte if Amani's words were all I heard. But I know that was not the first time they made contact. You mean... Yes. I don't know the reason, but the Manus has contacted her long ago. She gave them the cold shoulder at the time. But I knew something inside her had changed. Soon after that, she left me, taking all the materials with her. I know the only thing I can do to meet her again is keep walking on the way to study that celestial body. That will lead me to her one day. As I said, we could frequently feel the existence of each other from the changes of the celestial body. But she could always find more information than I do, because the traces left by Arcanum are more obvious than those left by science. This connection between us conveyed my belief to her that one day we would meet again as colleagues. I just didn't expect that this would be the final outcome of my observation. Or that we would end up on the opposite sides. Hmm. Can there be any lamer stories to tell than these two? For now, we can't find more clues in our house. Maybe we should go to the shrine again? How much do you remember the myth of your family? As I just said, that was the primary material of our study. <laughs> Running and jumping around with hot tea. I sure know the fun within. But at my age, with the benefit of hindsight, I have to tell you to be careful. You might get burned by the tea. No, no, it's the spice! The spice in the tea! More spice to it? Hmm. I do have a dozen kinds of different spices with me. Looks like you are very used to them in tea. Exactly! Tea spices! <laughs> now it's time for Matilda to show you her best shot! Oh, cumin. Oh, you also have clove blossom here. Fantastic. The crystal divination. I've spent too much time in the human world to remember the convenience of Arcanum. If I can foresee any sign about Kumar, our problem will be ended. With the help of the great Matilda, of course. <laughs> okay, take a deep breath. Give me your hands. Rest them on top of mine. Yes, like that. Now, think of Kumar in your head. What? What is 
Jesus. Is that the train station? Here are a few spots in my caravan. Yes, boss. No, wait. Where's Sharja? What took her so long? Wasn't she with you? She... I saw her. Went to the other side of the village. Over there? I remember... That's... Sir, please, please trust me. You have to convince your father. It's not like before. <sighs> Sherja, it's not that I don't want to talk to my father. You have come to me, I don't know, so many times. Father has already scolded me several times for letting Gina learn all those unorthodox stuff from you. You know, those human books. You can see, even Gina's mother has no help in the kitchen now. I even have to prepare the candles for Deepa festival myself. No matter what you say, I'm not taking your advice this time. You would better leave before my father comes out. You know how mad he gets when he sees a human. Hey, Rajesh! Why are you talking to me? You! You again! Look, Kripya, don't mind me. This is the time of my life. It's not the time to understand the whole thing. बस इतना समझा लीजिए कि ये सारा गांव उल्कापन से तहस नहस हो जाएगा आप और आपके परिवार को तुरंत यहाँ से चले जाना चाहिए बस बहुत हो चुकी ये बातें हम जान गए हैं तुम्हारी योजना हमें यहाँ से निकालना चाहते हो कभी नहीं नहीं पिताजी आप जानते हैं कि शर्जा हमेशा मैं इसे बात कर रहा हूँ। चलो जाओ, वरना। पंजी, stop him। तुम कौन हो पागल? और इन तानों की दाल में क्या कर रहे हो? कंजरा उसकी नहीं तो और किसकी सहायता करूं? तुम्हारी एहसान फरामोश बुढ़े तुम कितनी 
पास से जाने तुम्हारी सहायता करी है और जिना को ना जाने कितनी बातें सिखाई हैं तुम लोगों ने सिर्फ उसके साथ बुरा बर्ताव किया है बस बातें करते रहते हो और और इंसानों के बारे में रहो यही अगर रहना है तो शरजात तुम सबको बचाने की कोशिश कर रही है पर कोई सुनना नहीं चाहता गिरने दो उल्का पिंड को ताकि तुम सब कुचल जाओ उसके नीचे चलो मुझे माफ कर दो ये तो Jira stop don't pull me it hurts They is always mean to you and bullying you why you must look for trouble Kanjira After all the things you do for them how can they treat you like that just leave them alone Come with me. I still have your spot on my caravan. The time for entering and exiting the trains at the station is the same every day. I remember it well. There will be a train leaving here soon. There's still time. Kanjira, take a deep breath and listen to me. said all those things to them for me and i appreciate that but think about it if i treat them just the same way they treated me just stand by and watch them head to death even if i'm doing this out of understandable fury how would it make me any different to them Volunteering to help you, and in your opinion, risking my life to save them—they are all out of my own will. Hatred doesn't end itself, Kanjira. It has to be ended by someone. Treasures. This is not the first time you prefer they over we. You always put they first when there's a problem. Kanjira, don't cry, Kanjira. So you've been think, little one. You're just like us. We are your family. No, you don't understand, Miss Sharja. <laughs> Enough talk. Maybe I don't understand any of your lectures, but you can't stay here. <sighs> Sorry, Kanjira. I have to admit they're unreasonable. But as I said, we should put that aside now. It's a matter of life, Kanjira. I can't. You. 
you is not listening to me at all. Fine. Be a savior and go. We live here on our own. Kanjura. कहा है साहब इतना सन्नाटा क्यों है यहाँ बहर को तो बहुत भीड़ थी ये ये तो खून इतना सारा खून नहीं अजय सना जी ओ बॉस इधर यहाँ सुरक्षित है यहाँ आ जाओ शुक्र है तुम ठीक हो क्या हुआ यहाँ पता नहीं कुछ भयानक से लोग अचानक आ गए उन्होंने चेहरों पे मखौटे लगा रखे थे वहाँ उस प्लेटफॉर्म पर कुछ और लोग हैं पता नहीं कहाँ से आ तबके और यात्रियों पर बिना मतलब के हमला करने लगे शुक्र है कि सारी यात्री यहाँ से जा चुके थे बिशर जाग की वजह से बच गए हम पीछे रह के तुम्हारा इंतजार कर रहे थे तुम अकेले आए हो बिशर जाग कहा है तो तुम्हें देख ना ले तेरी मेरी चंदी की सही में इन सब चीजों की तुम्हें इस वक्त कोई जरूरत है The 
There are people over here. Let's take a first. This place is soon going to be dangerous. I know a place. It's close to here. Come, take them this way. most of the time, the best student in first aid class. There, the pain is gone, yeah? Well, mm, not bad. Hey, I'm not done with your ceiling! Hey, hey, hey! Oh, uh, I already apologize! I didn't expect to see this. What a spacious yard for a house located right next to the train station. <laughs> Old buddy, I'm surprised that you're still here. We have settled everyone so far. I didn't expect so many Manus members here. I've never encountered them before. They can't be communicated with. How horrible. And since we meet them here, it means... <sighs> Kumar did cooperate with the Manus. Shoot. It's completely out of control. The incantation in the cave. She must be able to detect the fluctuation caused by it, and that gives away. But what in the world is her purpose? Did she think I would stop her? So she deployed these things to slaughter the village. Does revenge matter that much to her? her. I never believed she would do such a thing, even if we're no longer on the same path. But the reality tells me, my trust in her is nothing but a joke. Hatred changes people. It's not a choice, Kalabona. You don't have to feel bad for trusting people. You trust someone because they are trustworthy, but you never need a reason to hate. Let your guard down for even one second. The toxic idea will sneak into your mind, and it would be impossible to get rid of it. It will burn your mind and sanity until you become an animal living for revenge. Even... Forget your own name. Oh, don't look at me like that. It's nothing personal. 
in my mind, she is still my cool and scholarly sister. I was young and easily fooled back then. What I said was based on my real life experience. I was way more outrageous than her. <laughs> uh, I mean, we were all young once, right? <sighs> no matter what, she's already on the move. But we don't even know where she is. about it. The painkiller won't last long. There's no way you can drive with a wounded foot. But Shadja's still out there. She can't use any arcane skills. If she's fine by the mask monster. Even, even if you are right on this, I can't just let you. Hmm? SPF-1 portable contact device activated. Abnormal arcane skill fluctuation detected. Conducting analysis. It just activates itself? Huh? Source of abnormal arcane skill fluctuation confirmed. Similar faction, Manus Findicte. Margin of error, 0.121%. Emergency support application sent. Adjusted support application priority to high. Does it mean we can ask the Foundation for backup now? <laughs> this is great! People, I finally got in touch with the Foundation! Yeah? That's good news. But the Manus is still wandering out there. Before the Foundation evacuates them, the village will be destroyed. We can't just sit around and watch. There is another way. Way. If she can do it, I can do it too. Maybe I can find traces of her if I enter the realm. Because I also mastered meditation skills. Yes, that's right. I know the path inside. What do I need? Yes, water. Enough water to soak me in. Miss Calabona? Uh, now hold on. Please wait. If it was so easy, why didn't you look for her in the realm in the first place? I... It is a risky move, am I right? How did you know? Oh, just my instincts or experiences, perhaps? No offense, but... When I look at you, I see a desperate tiger cub cornered by the hunters. The situation is not as simple as you think. Since she can invite us to more punk, she can play the same trick and invite you to her realm. This could be a trap. A trap to keep you stuck inside the realm. 
You are right. It is a risky move. With the other two idols as her anchors, she's the true dominator of the realm now. I can't foresee what's ahead of us in there, so I've been avoiding it. But... We don't have other choices, do we? <laughs> now we are talking. You seem ready. But... Mm -mm. Whatever you decide to do next, don't. This is the advice from an experienced hunter. Why? Because whatever is in your mind now is going to send you into the hunter's trap. This happens to all kinds of animals. When the animal realizes it is cornered, its mind will be in a muddle. It can't think of anything else, but at the same time, it strangely grows overconfident. It will take the gamble of escaping from its last way out, which is also going to be the entrance of the trap. Trust me. I know how you feel. You thought there's no way out, but a footlock bridge. The manor's followers are still wandering about, and some villagers haven't been moved to safer locations. But sometimes, we must take the risky path to get out of the dreadful situation. Even though it is full of traps. It may not solve all the problems, but it's better than doing nothing. If this really is a trap, that means we will meet again. And I have been waiting for a chance to talk to her face to face for too long. I have been chasing after an imaginary goal since she left me. I watched that star closely, taking down everything that I could observe. However, despite all the efforts, Deep down, I know better than anyone else. It's useless. I remember those days. Almost half of which were like living in a mist. But now... But now... I can feel it. Her silhouette is right there in front of me. To be honest, this is not the best time to seize this chance. Calabona. But no matter how I look at it, this is too good an opportunity to pass up. Hmm. Okay. Fine. If you insist on doing this, I will not stop you. We all have our lessons to learn, and you are right. We don't have any better options. What is it they say? No risk, no feast, huh? <laughs> but please keep this in mind. No matter what happens, your safety will always be the top priority. We cannot bear to lose someone who is capable of putting this to an end. I will. 